Alright, so before we get to today's video, make sure to like the video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell, turn on post notifications, man. So you notified every time you, we drop. And you know you won't be notified every time we drop, right? I got I to get some links tank out of this motherfucker, bro. This motherfucker too big, man. It ain't too big, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's somewhere. I, I got that little slack right there so I get these links taken out of my shit, right? But anyway, man. Alright, so what we doing today, man? We ain't did this in a while, right? We're going to react to the comments in the comment section, right? Because I've been knowing a lot of y'all been talking real greasy in the comment section. So we're going to react to the comments in the comment section. But before we do that, make sure to go over to Walls Production Live, y'all. Like, you can stop what you're doing. You can pause this video right now and go to Walls Production Live and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be dropping completely different content over there, man. I know y'all want the game. I know a lot of y'all sitting at home right now. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you're sitting at home right now. Like, man, how come I can't get this bad bitch? How can I get my money up? How can I learn some games to elevate? I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of my job. I'm tired of dealing with this funky, raggedy-ass nigga, and I'm tired of dealing with this funky, raggedy-ass bitch. I know that's how y'all feel right now. You feel me? So, Go subscribe to Walls Production Live. We almost at a thousand. I think we have five hundred something, but we almost at a thousand. Once we get to a thousand, all the content y'all see on that channel is getting erased. We dropping game over there, right? And I want to give y'all the game. I want everybody to be successful. Nigga, knuckles kind of ass, you know. But I want everybody to be kind of successful, in, in whatever they, in whatever field they want to be successful in. And I have the game for a lot of fields. All right, but with that being said, um. We didn't drop last night, so we're going to drop this morning, and we may drop another one later today. Y'all know how it be, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they get busy, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just don't be dropping. But um, <clears throat> most of the, I know a lot of the negative comments, I have already, I've already replied to, so I'm, we still going to reply to some. Let's start this off, right? So I ain't even finna read the names. You know, typically I read the names, but I ain't finna give you suck-ass niggas no shout-outs. Like I said... Hopefully, you know this your comment, you know? All right, so this one says, why are you talking down on your own brother? Your own brother bag. He ain't... Why are you talking down on your own brother's bag? Ain't you trying to get your bag by doing these videos? All right, so here we go. First off, just because you are black, and, and this is more important, this is important for real because for black people in general, for us, because... We all living with this notion in our head that maybe somewhere down the line, we are related. You just never know. Just because with all our peoples is all brought in over the... Hold on, quick move this shit. Our people, our, our peoples is all brought in on this damn ship, right? So we could be related, whatever. But as, as for what we know, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't know their history. That ain't, first off, she, that was to Damien. She, she made that comment on one of Damien Cryer's video. You know, the, I think it was the cringy old man part two. That nigga's not my brother. And we got to get rid of this mind state to where we think that just because of the color of, of our skin, that makes us brothers, that makes us sisters, that makes us this. Oh, just because you're the same color as me, I shouldn't say what I need to say about you. I should only uplift you. S listen. Some people you can't uplift. It don't matter. It is what it is. And what we and what and also to the person that made that comment, we don't talk down to people. See that? See, see that's the thing. A lot of you people who make these comments, y'all don't even know what we do over here. Yeah. See, if y'all actually took the time to really understand what we do over here, you will understand why we react the way we react because. Fuck one motherfucker. See, you making a comment about one particular individual. Fuck one particular individual. We talking about a whole. We talking about a whole message for a conglomerate of motherfuckers, a whole generation of people. So why you making comments like why you talking down on your own brother, this one person? You don't see what they are doing. They are painting black women in a terrible light. 
They are, they are painting um, black men in a terrible light. You don't see that though. All you see is oh, with all you see is on the surface. You see because you because clearly with that comment, clearly you simple minded. Clearly, there's some bias in what you watch. I mean, like, clearly there's some bias in your mind about what you think. Because if you knew, if 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 there wasn't, you would know that we want these niggas to get their bag. We we want who the Dam Damian Cryer. You comment on Damian Cryer video. We we want Damian Cryer to be a billionaire. We want Damian Cryer to have all the cars in the world. We want him to have all the bitches in the world. We want him to have the biggest houses. We not knocking their success. We want motherfuckers to be successful. We knock that message. Because that message, all it does is translate to the younger crowd that's coming up. Like, kind of how the world structures things, right? You see how the world will structure things? Republicans, Democrats. Oh, Republicans are for rich people. Most people be like, oh, if you, if you vote Republican, you Uncle Tom. Democrats are for the, the lower class. They help the motherfuckers out. They ain't got shit. And most motherfuckers that and really ain't got shit's niggas. Just saying. See, we, you got to get out of that mind frame. And you stuck in that damn mind frame of only seeing it how you can see it. Like I said, this ain't the 70s, man. Okay? This ain't the 60s. This ain't the 80s. This ain't the 90s. This is, this is the 2000. This is 2022, matter of fact. You got to leave that old slave... Uh, chains and shackles, masters coming, um, you shouldn't fight your brother mentality back in the fucking 80s. And, or, know what you're talking, or know what you're watching. See, per, people don't understand what they're watching out here, right? People will just, you just flip the damn channel on. You just flip, you, you, you watch a video, not understanding nothing about what this motherfucker's been doing. And the sad thing about it is, we've been doing this shit for like nine months, right? And I've seen this name. It just came on board a month ago. So how can you possibly even make a comment about anything we doing over here when you've only been watching us for a month? And we've been doing this shit for almost nine months, close to a year now. And you don't start at the beginning and watch the first videos back in March and, and, and February. Then watch them on down. Then you will make comments like that. You feel me? Anyway, I know I took a while on that comment, but I just want to give y'all some game. That's why I tell y'all to let's get this Walls Production live to a thousand subscribers so I can start posting videos of the game on there to educate motherfuckers. Because people need some education out here. And I'm not talking about school education. Motherfuckers need life education. All right. This dude said this. Dude, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Are the movies real or is it acting? Well, this is the same thing. People know this shit is fake, but they are entertained by it. So what's your point? All right. This is not the same thing, bro. This is not a movie. And the acting's terrible. And the storyline's horrible. When you watching a movie, right, Mr. Smart Man, because I'm about to break I'm about to break your smart ass down. So to let you know that you really ain't smart. So when you watch a movie. You know what goes into a movie. There's a storyline, right? There's a whole storyline, a whole narrative that's being painted throughout the movie, right? There's a plot, okay? So the plot may be, the storyline's going to be, okay, whatever's going to be, and the plot's going to be, okay, well, the plot is something branching off from the storyline. And then you have actors. You have people playing certain particular roles, Right? And, and you about to really make the, your niggas that you're trying to defend making these fake videos look bad when I say this, right? You have people who, and you know the particular roles of these particular people. See, the thing is, we know that going into, right? The thing with this shit is, we don't know that going into. They try to project it as it being real. They try to project this. They try to project this. I'm walking down the street. This person's walking down the street. I'm running up in front of them, trying to holler at them. I want them to want me for me. That's not possible, dude. At all. Even, even a person, listen, even somebody who don't have nothing. 
won't even give you the time of day. Somebody who go back to their woman or their man because both men and women can be abusive. I know women who who, who, who done beat their dudes up and the dude come back. And I know dudes who done beat their women up and the women and 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 the woman come back. Even if they are in that situation, no money. There's motherfuckers who still won't even give you the time of day. They won't even. I mean, I ain't fucking no. They they ain't even fucking with you. So with that being said, Mister. Uh, Movies, movies are fake and uh, Mr. That, right? They're painting a false narrative. They're painting a false reality that motherfuckers really believe will go out here because there's billion, there's like 7 billion motherfuckers in this world or some shit, some crazy number. People will go out here and they will live their life based on what they watch it. Well, shit, I got a little money. Oh, oh, you didn't want me over there. Now you want me. Or you didn't want me for me. You, now I got a car. And and you see my car. You see me doing something. Now you want me. Well, yeah, because over there I thought you was a bum, bro. See what I'm saying? So that's why we do what we do. To clear that all up. Because, y'all, let's, let's be real. Everybody's not rich. I'm tired of motherfuckers on here acting like they live in the high life. Half you motherfuckers live with mom and dad, grandma, y'all using their money. Y'all not balling, bro. Y'all not getting it how you getting it. Half you niggas and sold drugs and then got caught and told on a nigga. Half you niggas, bitches is fucking. Half you bitches, dudes is fucking. So let's 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 be normal here, okay? Let's not be in in, in, in internet super super sensation because anybody can be any type of personality on the internet. Anybody can get on the internet, make whatever they're going to make, create some type of narrative about who they are, right? And and as long as they rocking it and, and rocking it and fits chains, cars, fake prop money, um, paying girls $40 just to sit in here for 10 minutes with you. Man, come on, I'll give you $40 for 10 minutes of your time. And, and you, But you, go, you, know, you can't say no because you're going to go to work. For them people, for fifteen dollars for an hour, but you're not finna sit in here for four for ten minutes and make forty dollars. This is for the camera. Think about it, right? People do all of that, knowing that they pushing a false narrative just to control the minds of people, right? So, with that being said, with that comment, I don't want to lose you because I can go a lot deeper, but I know it's gonna lose a lot of people. But with that comment, they try to act like well. Shorty may not be a gold digger. I don't know. We about to see. They try to play you. We don't already know what roles are established here. You feel what I'm saying? So there's a big difference in what they doing. And there's a big difference in what they do in the movies. We know what this person is. We know what the, we know this person's out to be the, to be the gangster to kill everybody. We know this bitch is a lying, conniving motherfucker. We know this dude is a cheating, scamming ass nigga. We already know that. Going into, okay, well, he's a scammer. Okay, he's this. Okay, he's that. We know that by watching the movie. And we know it's fake. This shit, they try to make it seem real. All right, so, anyways. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, wee. All right, the next one is. This one says, this is not forced, but. Whoever cares if it's fake, no one seems to care but you. Uh, that ain't. Once again, we probably are. There ain't. I can't really respond to that. I mean, this one says, but you said, but you said it was about the numbers. So why change it now? One hundred twenty-four views in an hour with thirteen likes, a little over ten percent. Okay. And this dude always say stuff. He, I post a video. I post a video, he'd be like, you only got 200 views in five hours. And then a day go past. Go look at the video, it's at 1400. So, if you follow this channel, you know, we're not getting 10K views. But we have videos that got views. Don't get it twisted. We got videos that got 40,000 views off of this shit, whatever. Six, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand, twelve. 10,000, We have those videos. But, I may not get 10,000 views. I may not get that. But like I told y'all before, like and this, and this dude in particular, because he, he liked he liked to count YouTube money. He liked to count views, likes, and all that stuff. He think he know YouTube money, but
but he don't know shit because what you don't know is every time you comment, right? It's how stupid he is. Every time you comment, it lets me know how many subscribers you have. See, I, I'm into the system of the comment. I'm just not looking at the video and no, 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 no. I look at a whole different type board than what people think. So when I'm looking at the board, this guy who knows all about numbers, who knows about YouTube, right? He knows everything. He's a real smart guy, right? According to his comments, you know, because we only, like, once again, we can, like how we say, according to the content, we can only go off what we see. We can only go off what we see, right? So this guy right here, he only got two subscribers. So why would I even, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Why would I even take this guy's comments serious when he's talking numbers when he has two subscribers? I'm just saying, man. You got to know the YouTube game. And once again, I made more money off a video that had 1,000 views more so than a video that had 10,000 views or 5,000 views. You got to understand how YouTube set up. So, all right. This dude said, this is not fake. You straight up hating. You know what this dude is upset. London done done him. LOL. His girl got caught on camera being a gold digger. Let LOL facts. Okay, look. First off, ain't no female that I've ever dealt with been caught on camera doing anything. Let's get that straight. And the reason why they haven't been caught on camera doing anything, especially some corny and cheesy like this, is because... I don't fuck with broke ass bitches. Most of these bitches are broke, bro. Most of these bitches are okay. Yeah, I be in this video and and do this and do this to, to get to get um to get more Instagram subscriber, more Instagram followers, and and to, just to get my name, just so people can see my face. A hundred, I know you get a hundred thousand views, so people can see my face. I be in that video. See. Well, most, and I'm, a, like I said, subscribe to Wild's Production Live. Because this is game. I'm not going to give y'all everything. No, cool. Because this video is responding to negative comments in the comment section. But I will tell y'all a little bit. So, now what y'all don't understand as a woman, so easy to blow up on social media, especially Instagram. I know the game of how to, how to make you blow up as a woman. So, these bitches in these videos, these motherfuckers is getting, a, they, 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 they cell phone bill paid. They get in a, going out to eat, getting a hundred dollars for ten minutes, which ain't nothing wrong with it. But that's some broke bitch shit, though. That's this is some broke ass bitch shit right here. Hey, be in my video. It only gonna take twenty minutes, man. I give you seventy five hundred dollars. Uh, a broke bitch gonna be like, okay, what is it? Well, this is what I do. Okay, a broke bitch gonna be like, oh sure, yeah, I'll do that for a hundred bucks. That's a broke bitch, though. Just saying, it's broke. So once again. And plus two, none of my girls have been caught. I'm going to say that again. And if we ain't married, if, if there's not, it, it don't really count as my girl, bro. See, what you don't understand, I'm going to say his name. What you don't understand about me, Raheem, okay? See, I know a lot of dudes out here be like, oh, I'm a player, man. I got bitches, okay? But no, I'm a real player, bro. I ain't say I'm a pimp. So I'm a real player, okay? I ain't, once again, I didn't say I was a pimp. Most of y'all niggas gonna get it confused because y'all don't understand what a player and a pimp is. Big difference between them. Now you could be a player and a pimp. I'm a player. So my thing with the whole girl shit, girlfriend, and one of my girls is when you when, when I'm in your presence, whatever you got going on gotta get cut off. Because we boyfriend and girlfriend. But as soon as you leave and I'm I'm not in your presence. Bitch, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Give a fuck about the fuck whoever you want to fuck. Hang out with whoever you hang. But when I call, we hanging out. You gotta shut everything down. That's my philosophy. See, I'm not built like most motherfuckers. Most motherfuckers is built like they get the coochie. The girl be bad, have a fat ass. You don't want no other nigga in that. Well, you better be like other nigga. In that. That's how you niggas is, man. That's how y'all are. That's. And I'm not just saying it's brothers, but I, I'm just speaking from, you know, whatever. That's how y'all be. Well, shit, that's ass too fat, man. You probably nobody in there. Then y'all be trying to stalk the bitch, be trying to beat the bitch up because she didn't let none nigga hit. Different between me and you. Give a fuck about none of that shit. Why? Because I've had bad bitches, bro. <laughs> 
I've had bad bitches. I still have bad bitches. It's nothing to be like, oh, okay, so you won't fuck me? Okay, bye. Because you gotta understand, as quick as she leave, I can go get another one and replace that one. Bad. So that's different between me and you. So as far as that comment, bro, like you, you're dealing with a player, man. You're not dealing with some old suck ass nigga who, who gets mad at a bad bitch because the bad bitch does what a bad bitch do. Like, you gotta, you gotta understand what you're dealing with, though. All right, so let me see this. Let's go. Uh, he said, this dude said, I need to make a video on those dry lips instead of worrying about the next man. First off, bro, once again, the last thing you need to be doing is looking at a nigga lips, bro, and con making a comment about a nigga's lips. Just saying. Whether they dry or whether they ain't dry, don't matter. Motherfucker, I come up. See, the difference between me and a lot of and a lot of other YouTubers is when I get on this motherfucker is authentic. Motherfucker, I come up this motherfucker with, with a wisdom tooth pull my jaw out here and still do a reaction video. For people who remember me doing that, leave a comment in the comment section. Motherfucker, I come up here with a foot with two with a double eye infection with my eye knotted up. Look like a nigga whooped my ass, but they really didn't because it's a double eye infection. You can clearly see it. And still do a reaction video, right? So you think I give a fuck about if my lips is dry? You think I give a fuck about if I got boogers hanging out my nigga? I sit on this motherfucker and react to a video with boogers hanging out my nose. And I give two fucks about what anybody gotta say. Why? Because I can. <laughs> like, come on, man. You worry, you worry about my lips. <laughs> the fuck a man worry about if my lips are moist or dry. How does that sound? What well, you worry about my moist lips? Nigga, fuck out of here. Sound kind of, you know, you know how you sound. You know how you sound. All right. So, what else we want to? Okay, I see somebody respond to. All right, this one dude says hater. First off, believe me, there is. And he, he, he said, he, 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 this was to a London's Ways video. And let's be 100. The last thing I'm a hater on is a fat nigga, bro. My nigga. I am so, I'm physically fit, my nigga. I look, I look way better than the baddest bitch you ever been with, my nigga. Think back to the baddest bitch you, you ever had, did you ever, ever had. That you should have, that you know that you don't know how you got her. You should have never had her. Nigga, I look better than her, nigga. I'm not an ugly nigga. So the last thing I'm worried about is is being hating on a fat nigga. Don't nobody care. And the thing about you niggas is y'all so obsessed with money, 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 and y'all not getting no money. No. You're not obsessed. You're so obsessed with something you're not getting. And it's eating you up. So last thing I am is a hater. But the truth can, can be distorted as hate, though. I understand that. The truth can be distorted as hate. I understand that. Y'all comments whack, bro. See, this is why I waited so long to actually do this shit, because y'all ain't really talking about nothing. Y'all ain't really talking about no heat, no, you know? Like, not no heat, like shooting nigga. But y'all ain't really coming with no hate, like, no hating ass shit, man. No negative shit, man. This is like elementary school shit. You're a hater. You're mad because my shirt's black and yours is white. You're mad because... I, my Jordans cost 75 bucks and yours cost 20. Like, you know, that's the type of shit I'm, come on, man. Grown man over here, y'all. Grown ass motherfucking man. Play it. Oh, here we go. So what we got? This dude said, if it's so fake, then why aren't you out there cleaning the streets? Oh my goodness. Y'all see what I'm talking about? I ain't, I'm going to read the rest of this comment in a minute. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? If it's so fake, then why aren't you out there cleaning the streets? These niggas say we out here cleaning the streets. This is what I, this go back. To, we don't motherfucking forget. Yeah, I said a lot of shit. This go back to that first raggedy ass fucking comment. So she's talking about to the motherfuckers talking about bringing your brother down. And I said what I said. Nigga ain't my brother, and we ain't here to bring. We here to make sure these motherfuckers don't pollute and and destroy the minds of a whole generation. That's what we here for. And this motherfucker said, if it's so fake, then why you ain't out here cleaning the streets? My nigga, you are so lost. But let's let's continue reading his little dumbass comment. 
These bras are spaced out. Dude, I gave you too much energy. Stop hating, guy. Peace and blessings back up. These bras are, are so spaced out. Dude, I gave you too much energy. Stop hating. See, once again, a clown. He really believes, he really believes that you can go out here and clean the streets of gold diggers, bro. No. You will never be able to clean no streets of gold diggers. You let me let, let me give you a life lesson, dummy. You will never be able to go out here and clean the streets of gold diggers, of rapists, of murderers, of killers, of prostitutes, of um, scammers. Why? Because they're always gonna be here. Just saying. You're never gonna be able to clean the streets of good people, bad people. People who believe in God, people who believe in people who believe in Satan, you're not, bro. So, what are you talking about, <laughs> Sam Woods? What are you talking about? All right, so uh, let me see. Here's another one. Why the hate, bro? If you feel you can do better, please make us some gold digger videos, which we will enjoy because real effect, we enjoy them. Okay. Nobody say you can't enjoy them. Enjoy them, watch them, whatever. We don't, we, we don't care if you enjoy them and watch them. There's people that rock with me heavy. There's people that rock with me heavy. And they still enjoy watching some of the gold diggers. They still they still watch them. That's not what we not that's not what we promoting over here. See, you motherfuckers don't know what we do over here. We not promoting stop watching them. No. We promoting that's not realistic. That's not how that happens. We promote this. What they trying to project, this is how this happens. That's what we promote over here. So don't get lost in the thought of thinking, oh, well, that's what it is. No, this is how it is. Because we didn't lived it. We In real life, not on social media. And he said, if it, what did he say? If you feel you can do better, please make a... See, once again, it's not the point of the, I feel I can do better. It's not the point of me sitting up here trying to... Um, Okay, well, I'm going to do this and show you guys that this is how it's really done. Because you can't do a fucking gold digger video in eight minutes. You, it, you can't do it in 10, 12 minutes. Because Shorty can act like a gold digger. Shorty can be like what? Shorty can be like, oh, I want you to take me shopping. I want you to buy me a car. I want you to buy me a house. I want you to give me cash. All of that, right? And then you ain't got to do none of that. And Shorty give you the job. Shorty give you everything. Just because she know you got the bag, brother. If you ever had the bag, you will understand. But if you never had the bag, you're not going to understand. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So, most women that know you got the bag, they're going to say they want all of this. But if you don't give them that, they're not going to be like, I ain't fucking with you. No, they still going to fuck with you because you got the bag, you stupid ass nigga. And most motherfuckers who act like, oh, I ain't worried about the bag. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't worried about no shopping. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. They're going to give you some coochie. They're going to suck your thing real. Bro, they're going to suck your thing real good. They're going to they gonna rise your thing real, real good, bro. They're going to do that for about a week. About a, maybe a week, two weeks, right? And they're going to get it to where they got your ass. And niggas know when a, when a female got you. And female know when they got you, too. When you're texting all day, them heart emojis, them kiss, them, them heart eye emojis. We y'all texting that? We y'all texting them kiss emojis. We are texting the peach, ooh, I miss it. We are texting the, the wet, wet, the, the little drip drop. Tell oh, y'all, you know what she's saying? I got this nigga, right? I ain't asking nigga for nothing. Got this nigga. Then you start, hey, baby, you want to go out and do this? You start offering to do shit. When, when originally she don't want to do she ain't ask you for nothing. You start offering a trick on her, yeah. And she just put it on you even more till you're stuck and you're ready to kill a nigga over, right? <laughs> y'all niggas know what I'm talking about, right? And next thing you know, you done bought the bitch a car. The bitch then moved in with you. You know, and, and next thing you know, you bought her a phone. You're giving her money. And she ain't asked for none of that. But that was her whole game plan from the jump. But she hits you with the, I ain't worried about none of that materialistic stuff. Right. So what y'all got to understand is you can't do this video. You can't do these videos in five minutes and six, seven minutes and 12 minutes. Bro, they giving y'all janky Look up janky promoters. It's a movie with Ice Cube and Mike Epps. They was janky ass promoters. They was bomb money. They was bomb bands from the weed man just to pay Jeezy and them, them niggas to come and perform. 
And they was giving them front row seats. I'll give you front row seats. You're the G's. You're, whoever you bring, get in free. But it's going to be like 20 G's for all of that. Because they ain't had no money. They, they, they was doing janky ass shit. Maxing out credit cards. Mother Ice Cube had like six, seven credit cards, I think, in that motherfucker. I believe. Maxed out all of them. Because, you know, just saying. So, hopefully you got some game with that, man. <clears throat> so, it's not about me going out here and showing you how to do a gold digger video because that would take time, nigga. That's going to take a week. That's going to take two weeks to actually do a credible one. To actually, it may even take longer than that, a month. You got to give updates, nigga. When we first started out back in January, it was cool. Now we in November. This bitch want me to buy this. She want me to buy that. She ain't working. She lazy. She ain't cleaning up. Every time I come home, she asks me where the credit card at. Yeah, nigga. That. That's how you really do a gold digger video. And they don't give a fuck about their audience. That's why they give y'all these little nine, ten minute videos. Cause they know y'all stupid. They know y'all gonna watch the girl with the fat ass, look at the car, y'all gonna continue, and y'all gonna be like robots and forget that they hitting y'all with the same fucking script, bro. Think about it, man. It don't take that long for your brain to be controlled if you're watching something every day, man. It don't. It don't take long at all for your brain to be controlled if you're watching the same shit almost every day. It's called a habit. Habits form like that. Think about how long you've been watching these gold digger videos. How many years, how much time have you dedicated into watching these videos? Into shaping your mentality like, oh, man, this is cool. This is awesome. Think about it. And then think about and realize it's all wasted dead time from a scam. Now, how do you feel about that? How do you feel? How, how would you feel if, if, every, if every, 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 every time you went and, and purchased something, you were scammed out of it? You went to the store, bought you some cheese, but they overcharge you. They said, this is one price. You get up there, it's, it's this price. Then you're like, oh, fuck it. I'm already up here. It ain't a couple extra dollars. You pay for it. Then, if, then, if, then you go home, and it's cardboard. It just look like cheese. You be hot. And you're like, man, fuck that store. I'm going to this store. Then you went over there, and then you, and then you I'm opening the package to make sure it's cheese. Okay. And you open the package, and, you, and they say, okay, fine, whatever. Whatever. I got you. I understand what's going on. And you knew it was cheese. Then you got home, and there was 10 slices, and five of them was fake. You'd be like, man, fuck them. Right. That's what's happening right here. You're getting scammed by the product, nigga. And you don't know it. Once again, this dude said, if the videos are fake and whack and scripted, why well, continue to watch it and react to it? i never seen so much hate. Element, okay. Well, we already answered that, bro. Like, we just react like it's real. And we make it seem fake. We already answered that. Even... Well, I don't know what they talking about with this. Okay. Dude says, stop interrupting the show. I'm going to interrupt. The, I'm going to interrupt however many times I want to interrupt. See, once again, you want to watch something and think it is what, no, nah, see, that, and I like niggas like y'all because y'all get mad when the truth interrupts the show. It's cool. All right. Talking about this call. This person said, it's called entertainment. Why, why, why ninjas can't prosper without their own hate? First off, once again, that's not my brother. Just because we the same skin color don't mean shit. And people can prosper. But like I said, the truth hurt, man. I know. Truth hurt. But with that being said, man, I'm going to end it right there. I know I, I probably gave out a lot of game. I don't know when I'm going to do one more of these. But let me know what y'all think, man. And this is stuff that will be... See, a lot of the topics that we discussed and a lot of shit, if you probably listen to this whole thing and got game up out of this shit, that's what we're going to be doing on Wild's Production Live, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Go and subscribe to that channel, man. That's what we're going to be doing over there soon. But with that being said, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you're going to put a negative comment in the comment section, you got to come with some fire, bro. Gotta come with some heat, man. Y'all come with this old element. You hating. You there. You yeah, yeah, yeah. When we didn't explain it, when we have explained it so many times, and we ain't gotta explain shit to y'all hating ass niggas. But we will because we want y'all to keep coming back and being mad at the truth. You know what I'm saying? A hater always get mad at the damn truth. But anyway, we explain it so many times. We want these niggas to win. 
We don't care if they got the new 2023 whatever. We want them to have the new 2023 whip. We want them to have the $10,000 shoe, the $100,000 hat, the, the, the $10 million, $18 million watches. And we want them to have that. We want them to prosper. We want them to have all the bitches. We want them to have all the money. We want them to have all the big, nice houses. We want them to be the motherfucking man, right? We want that wholeheartedly. We just don't respect their message, right? That's all. We don't respect their message. So that's why we react like we react. So don't get what we do over here confused just because your brain can't comprehend it. It's okay to write in the comment section, well, at first I didn't understand what you're doing, but now I understand what you're doing. It's not going to stop me. And you can be like, it's not going to stop me from watching their videos. But I understand why you're doing what you're doing. It all makes sense now, right? But anyways, with that being said, man, like, share, subscribe. Let's get this over 250 likes. Make sure to share this video. And we are out until the next one.